The feelings were high at Summer Street for two teams that have endured a season of frustration. Luba Lipschanski set the wheels in motion for the Melbourne Knights. The home team completely dominated the first half. John Markovsky led by example. This was one of 17 clear-cut opportunities at the Newcastle goal. Markovsky's final touch, spectacular as it was, found the advertising boards. Craig Carter did well to prevent an avalanche of goals, as well as an embarrassing scoreline. But the breakers' defence was continuously tested. The Knights found it easy cutting through a suspect midfield. Not so easy was breaking Newcastle's stubborn backline. Markovsky failing on several occasions. The big forward instigated the first of many niggling incidents. Here he was accused of stepping on Carter after one of his many brilliant saves. But it was Steve Hickman's crew tackle on Fausto Diamichis that changed the mood of the game. Hickman earned a yellow card, but the scene was only the start of things to come. The Breakers played a more inventive game in the second half. Clayton Zane was denied by the talents of Frank Urich here. Newcastle's hopes of a comeback faded when Joe Spateri was sent crashing inside the penalty area. Hickman was lucky not to receive his marching orders here for a second offence. Andrew Marth completed the formalities and even though the result was put beyond doubt, scores were still being settled. An off-the-ball incident involving substitute Joe Batchak started an all-in brawl. Hickman earned the wrath of the Melbourne Knights players, some running up to 30 metres to vent their anger. While referee Kane Nabczewski tried to curb tempers, Batchak wearing a bloody nose was keen to get involved. The end result was dismissal for Hickman, another loss for Newcastle and a hard-fought victory for the Knights. Full-time score, the Melbourne Knights 2, Newcastle Breakers 0.